Morning. Early one for me. Been up all night watching the American election as Donald Trump stands firm as the bastion of free speech and liberty and nationalism against the globalist tide. And boy, some liberal tears are being thrown and some teddies being thrown at the moment. And I know you say, well, well Jeremy, how come you knew better than the mainstream media with their millions and billions of pounds, euros, dollars? That's a question, really, isn't it? You know, I looked at, I'll show you, I, I, I put a video out yesterday. And I looked at this, CNN polls, not just CNN polls, but they went through all the polls, the national polling. And there wasn't a single poll that showed from all the universities, all the news stations that showed Trump within 8%, let alone winning. I don't know if this has been updated since, but it was nothing but, just look at them, not one showing Trump even coming close to winning. Some of them as much as 15% gap. Uh, oh, that one was quite, look, that was a Fox News one, but this wasn't when, this was yesterday, this wasn't when I looked at it, first of all. Even that had Trump losing. But, nobody called it. Not one called it for, not one called it for Trump. Only Fox News, where's it gone? Called it equal. I can't find that now, anyway. it's on there. You've seen it then, somewhere. Fox News called it 42, 42. The only people on there, and people say Fox News are biased. Fox News is the only one that got it correct. You, uh, <laughs> the uh, BBC as well. So how did they do so badly wrong? Well, it's all propaganda. It is what I call controlled perception. They want you to believe that Biden and the left bunch of thugs are winning and they are not and if you think they're winning you believe that you are wrong a lot of the time and people go with that and despite all the propaganda despite all the media all mainstream medias pushing it despite that Trump still is in and still one of the most important things for Trump and uh, uh, not for Trump if he loses for the for the American election is not much is going to change there because of um let me, I'll show you a different uh a different picture now. This is from a place called the uh, the Decision Desk HQ. It just gives you the information. There's no commentary on it, but nothing like that. There we are at the moment. The race for the uh, presidency, wide open. Personally, I st still think with, uh, with Pennsylvania clearly for Trump, that's 20 votes. Alaska, three votes for Trump. And these two here, um, Georgia... North Carolina and Michigan swinging towards Trump, but there's a lot of votes to be cast still there because of the, the postal vote system, which is dodgy as hell. But anyway, and this one has just swung towards Biden. But importantly, if you, if you want to keep democracy in the US, is the Senate, it will come up now, has swung towards back towards the uh, Republicans. And it looks like they will be with the outstanding seats, it looks like the, the Republicans will maintain their majority in the House, in the Senate and in the House. This is updating all the time. The Republicans look like they're winning back their majority. So if by chance President Biden won, he wouldn't have the Senate or the House, which would be absolutely crazy. But that's the way it would be. And that is the way that uh, shows... Somebody like me, sitting in the house, just looking at the facts, believing my lion eyes, not believing the TV, not believing the propaganda news, and I got it right. Do you know what else? When I got up at four o'clock, and I could see uh, Biden was in the lead by a long way, but then I started to look around and think, wow, Trump is winning. He is actually winning. That the stock market in China dropped. Imagine that. And the stock markets through the rest of the world pushed up a lot. So, just think of it. China is unhappy if Trump wins. The rest of the world is happy. Think about it. And Brexit. Brexit will now happen. If Trump gets, gets this, because it's not clear yet. 
because Biden's playing silly buggers. If Trump gets this, then I can show you one thing. Brexit will happen. Trade will happen with America. If Trump loses it, Brexit is finished. Freedom of speech is finished. Any nationality is finished. And the new world order enters. Be afraid of Biden. Be good. Have a nice day. Goodbye.